why is a short feedback loop so important um, and how long should it take? Well, there are two reasons that it's important. Um, and the one that we always talk about is, you know, for our customers, like it's, it's better for our customers if we're, you know, able to find bugs quickly and find bugs ourselves instead of let, letting them find our bugs like months later, um, you know, we can get our features out faster and all this stuff. But the other one is just like, it's important for like the, the, the life of the engineer, like for, for the joy, if, if you want to find joy in your work, um, you need to be able to, you know, experience its impact on the world. And, and like shortening the feedback loop is just a way of making it feel more natural. It's a way of like plugging into your body's like natural reward systems, like dopamine and like adrenaline and all that stuff. And, and, and training yourself to have a good, a good gut feel for like what you're about to, you know, like, I, I feel like if someone's a senior engineer to me, that says that I can trust their gut instincts, right? Like right. sometimes it takes you a while to like unpack why you have an intuition that this thing you're doing is about to be terrible. Right. But, but you, 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 you have an intuition and the only way to train that gut feeling to, to, to be, you know, to be intuitively like correct is to train like your internal data corpus, so to speak on production. If all you ever interact with is your code and staging, like your intuitive gut feeling is not going to be worth much.